is Tammy Brock with Tammy Lynn Home Team. I just wanted to do a quick video on market statistics for Pitt County. Um, and this is from September of 2021, going back to September of 2020. So let's get started with that. One of the most important things we look at as a real estate agent is absorption rate. So absorption rate is the number of months it will take if all if nothing changes as far as how many buyers are out there looking for houses, how long it will take to sell all the inventory that we have on the market right now. And our absorption rate in Pitt County right now is at 1.2 months. So a little over one month it would take to sell everything that we have in Pitt County. So our active listing inventory in Pitt County right now is at 279 houses. And in looking at our absorption rate this year versus where we were last year at the same time. Last year it was at 1.48 and just a slightly, just a slight change to 1.18 September of 2021. So that has only gone down slightly uh, at the same time um, this time last year. The average sales price for all of Pitt County um, this time last year was at 215. So 215,000 and this year it is at 251,000 so that has take, taken quite of a um, turn and about a bit of an increase there uh, let's see $35,000 increase approximately um, which is interesting because the average list price last year the same time was close to 300,000 in Pitt County and now it's about um, close to 275. So that has actually, so the list price has decreased and the average sale price has increased. Another thing we look at is um, days on the market. So when we go on an appointment and, and everyone always wants to know how long is it gonna take to get my home sold? So on average in Pitt County, this time last year, we were at 37 days and currently we're at 15 days. So that has um, almost halved from this time last year. Um, another important thing to learn about Pitt County real estate, Pitt County, North Carolina, um, the majority of our houses sell between $50,000 and about $400,000. It really starts to decline once you get past $600,000. So if I'm just looking in 2021, and this is year to date, we had one house that sold um, around 1.3 million. And then um, after that, we had, let's see, two other properties that sold around 1 million. And then between 950 and 1 million it was four so not too many of those uh, larger home prices selling in in Pitt County so that is why our average sales price does it's hovering like I said around 250,000 right now so I just wanted to give you some market statistics statistic updates um, the other thing to note on um, statistics for Pitt County is the sold to list ratio. So that's super important, especially when you're pricing your home to sell. Um, I would say, I'm looking here. So as of March of 2021, the average list to sell ratio has been over 100%. So most sellers are getting over 100% of their listing price. Um, and that has since decreased just a bit from June. Um, it did take a downturn for June, July, and August with a slight uptick in September. So that is our market update for September of 2021. If you have any other questions or you want to know about your own neighborhood or your own personal property you want to know how quickly your property would sell or 
if you want to know the current market value or want any staging tips, that sort of thing, I am here to help. So give me a call, 252-367-0268. Don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube page. We want to be here for you and provide you with some knowledgeable information um, on Eastern North Carolina real estate. So anyway, thank you so much.